Hello, my name is Tammy Miller. In this buffers video, we're going to use the Henderson Hasselbach equation for calculations involving buffered solutions. To use the Henderson Hasselbach equation for calculations involving buffered solutions, we first need to understand what the Henderson Hasselbach equation is. First, it's derived from a logarithmic manipulation of the Ka. And remember that Ka is telling us how good of an acid something is. The higher the Ka, the stronger the acid. The lower the Ka, the weaker the acid. For Henderson Hasselbach in buffered solutions, we will be using weak acids. This is used only for calculations involving buffered solutions. So when we look at the acid, what we mean in the denominator is we are looking at a weak acid. And then in the numerator, we're looking at the conjugate base of that weak acid. So remember that buffered solutions must be weak acids or weak bases. When we look at this, we have the pH, which we know is the negative log of the hydrogen concentration. And that's equal to the pKa, which is the negative log of our Ka. To that, we're going to add the log of the conjugate base over the weak acid. The Henderson Hasselbalch equation can be used in a couple of different ways. First, we can use it to calculate the pH of a solution if we're given the Ka and the concentrations of the weak acid and the conjugate base. We can do this by taking the pKa and replacing it in the equation along with the concentrations of the weak acid and its conjugate base. On the other hand, we could be given the pH and the Ka or the pKa plus one of the two concentrations, and then we're asked to solve for the other concentration. We are going to look at an example where we are given the concentration of the conjugate base, but not the concentration of the weak acid. In this example, we're told that normal physiological blood pH is approximately 7.35. We're going to need this, so we're going to keep track of the information that they're giving us. This pH, we're told, is maintained by a buffer that consists of carbonic acid and bicarbonate. Carbonic acid is a weak acid. Its conjugate base is the bicarbonate. Then they tell us the Ka of the acid is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7. And they tell us the concentration of the conjugate base, the bicarbonate, is 29 millimolar. What is the concentration of the carbonic acid at physiological pH. The first thing we always must do is write down the Henderson Hasselbalch equation for ourselves. So I know that I have pH is equal to pKa plus the log of the conjugate base concentration over the weak acid concentration. I'm given the pH and the concentration of the conjugate base. I need to determine the pKa from the Ka that is given to us. pKa is equal to the negative log of the Ka. When I put this into my calculator, I find out that the pKa of the negative log of 4.5 times 10 to the negative 7 is going to be positive 6.35. Now I can use this with the other numbers that I have and plug them into my equation. So now I have my pH is 7.35 as given to us in the question. My pKa is 6.35, which we just calculated, plus the log of the concentration of the conjugate base, which we were told is 29 millimolar, divided by the weak acid. And the weak acid 
this is what I'm going to be solving for. I'm going to subtract 6.35 from each side of the equation to get 1 is equal to the log of 29 millimolar divided by the acid. To get 1, I know that I am taking the log of 10 to the positive 1. What this means is the concentration of my conjugate base in the numerator is 10 times the concentration of my weak acid. This means to get a log of 10 to the positive 1, I'm going to have 1 is equal to the log of the concentration of 29 millimolar divided by 2.9 millimolar. This tells me that the concentration of my carbonic acid is 2.9 millimolar. Writing down every step when we're doing a Henderson-Hasselbalch equation allows us to make sure that we are getting everything that we need into the equation and that we're not missing something that will cause us to get to the wrong answer.